our we're going back again from inverters to modules um, here the emphasis is also somewhat <clears throat> cells um, we have as uh, next speaker with us uh, dr chen jia who is uh, r d director of jollywood um, he's at um, at, um, before he joined Jollywood, he worked um, in, at IMAC, the research center in, in Belgium, where he also worked on N-type technology. And he will talk to us about the benefits and applications of Jollywood's N-type top con technology. The floor is yours. Welcome. Uh, hi, Michael. Okay. okay, first let me share the screen, but... Uh... It seems I cannot share the screen. Okay, now I can. Uh, okay. Can you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So now, can you see my screen, Michael? Yeah, looks good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Taiwan News, for inviting Jollywood and giving us these opportunities to present uh, uh, the benefit and the advantages for applying the Jollywood N-type Topcon technologies. So this is my presentation. Of course, before I start, I would like to say that uh, we are in a very good industry. You can see that uh, this is the data we we get from CPIA, which do the forecast of uh, what will be our industry growing. You can see that our, our industry will grow pretty good. I think we are in the, in the right industry. And what I want to stress here is that I think the key driven force for the PV industry is a continuous improvement in the technology, which give rise to the continuous uh, reduction in the levelized cost of energy. So if we want to continue this uh, growth of the PV market, we have continued work hard in the, in, the, in the technology. That's also what Jollywood we are believing. So here we are listed several products or several cell technologies we are, which are currently in the production or in the pilot line or in the transition from the pilot line to the production. First of all, it's uh, artificial paper cells. Paper cells is very famous for their uh, quite high efficiency compared with back surface fuel solar cells. At the same time, the cost is here, the non silicon cost is comparatively low. And we also have uh, the efficiency champion currently in the, in the production lines and uh, HIT cells. The efficiency is quite high, but at the same time, the cost is also quite high. In Jollywood, what we believe that uh, we can do something in the combination of high efficiency and, uh, and also relatively uh, uh, lower cost uh, technology. And we think that the top count technology can have the advantage both for the PERC and, uh, and HIT cells. First of all, this is a famous table which we already showed before is that if we want to do a technology, we want to make sure the technology has a future. The technology has a potential for high efficiency. Otherwise, there's no point for us to do this technology. We can see that from the professor um, Randall and Schmidt uh, with the uh, paper, the limit for solar cell is only 30. 29%, which we cannot do higher than this efficiency if we don't do any stack, stack cells or do we, if we choose, if we only focus on the silicon solar cells. And we can see that compared with the limit, actually the top constructors, thanks to its high selectivity at the contact region, actually the efficiency potential is highest among all the three technology I mentioned. And this is a, a cross section of the Top constructors which Jolly was using uh, is uh, different from perk cells as it's first used uh, untyped materials, which is naturally free from the LID and uh, especially for the boron oxygen and complex. Secondly, we can see that untyped cells, untyped uh, substrate also offers a potential for higher efficiency. Of course, you can also see that uh, we are using silver paste on the front on both sides due to a good aspect ratio of the silver paste which can offer. We can also have a higher bifficialities compared with Perxel, which you're using the aluminum fingers, which normally has wider width. 
And another one, which is the key of the technology is that we use this tannoc site and uh, the N plus poly on the rear site, which we make use of this quantum tunneling effect so that the carriers actually tunnels true from the substrate silicon to the N plus poly silicon. It has a good contact resistivity at the same time has a very good uh, contact passivation. That's why for the top count cells, we are also calling it uh, uh, tunnel oxide passivating contact solar cells. Of course, we know that the solar cells in top, with top count structures has a very high efficiency, both in the theoretic uh, uh, predictions in, in, the, in the structures. And also we can see that from Hoffers or SFH has proven that this technology can achieve very high efficiency uh, in the, the labs. Uh, also recently, Longji and our previously Jinko and China has also reported a very high efficiency in the top counts in the industrial R&D uh, labs. But the problem for the top count that in the industrialization is that currently the processing flow is still very, very long compared with PERC cells. And so also compare it to HIT cells, no matter it's an implantation process flow or phosphorus diffusion process flow. The main problem is that currently, if we want to deposit these polylayers on top of the tunnel oxide, the most matured uh, technology in the industry is by LPCVD. However, for the LPCVD process, we cannot avoid the wrap around, so we need additional cleaning. And at the same time, if you are not doing the in-situ doping, you need another doping process. So with, with additional process flows, which you, you have the risk of uh, increase uh, uh, the the cost and also reduce the yield. And sometimes it's also difficult for you to improve the efficiency in the production line while you may have a narrower uh, processing windows. So last year, actually in Jollywood, we have reported this new progress, which we have uh, changed uh, the deposition method for the LPCVD from a, a batch type uh, LPCVD to this uh, poppy technology, which is a play in night type, in night type, which we can make sure that uh, the deposition is only one on one side and uh, have very, uh, this, without any wraparound. At the same time, without sacrificing any throughput, we can achieve in situ dopings, which is another one advantage compared with uh, uh, LPCVDs. And with this technology, we have achieved that uh, more than 24% efficiency and more than 97% yield. And also because for the top count cells, you have to do the N plus and P plus doping on the both on the front and rear side. Sometimes you may have the leakage uh, issues, but in our case, without this any wraparound, our leakage is also zeros. And uh, we, are, we, want, we believe that uh, if uh, the top constructor want to take over the perk cells, um, it has to steam its processing flow significantly. You cannot use a processing flow with much longer process uh, steps uh, to replace some, some, some structures with much shorter process because you definitely will lose more yield and have higher costs in the process. So, so in Jollywood, we have uh, proposed this to Jollywood Top Gun uh, 2.0 processing flows, which we try to make sure that the process flow is very similar, the number is very similar to the perk cells. And we are also working on further reduce the Top Gun process, trying to, and also reduce the silver costs as we use the silver on the both side to improve the cost and also fewer process steps. And we believe that um, we, as, uh, while we are improving or reducing the protein steps, we are also improving the efficiencies. Currently, the top count is uh, less than 1% efficiency above perk cells. We believe that by this year, with our, our effort and also with the support from industry, and uh, we can see that from also other cell uh, manufacturers, we can further improve the gaps, uh, make the gap larger to more than 1%. And within a few years, we can improve the gaps to more than 2%, which means a lot. Uh, to reducing the cost in the module and in the system level. 
Of course, uh, this is some cell technology. We want to apply the cell technology to modules. So in Jollywood, we have planned to make the Topcon 2.0 processing flow with large wafers to make our Jollywood Topcon 2.0 modules. Compare with the same modules, uh, with the same area, with the same design, because now actually in the market, um, we have a different design. We have 182 uh, modules between Two, uh, 210 modules, which sometimes is 72 cells, 60 cells. In, in order to compare apple to apple, if we compare the same wafer size with the same number of cells, we believe that with Jollywood 2.0, uh, Topcon 2.0 technology, we can reach much higher module power, higher efficiency, uh, uh, very low temperature coefficient, low degradations and uh, with high reliabilities. As we know that uh, top con cells will have higher efficiency naturally with, if we have the same module areas with very similar module uh, technologies, top con cell will naturally, uh, top con modules will naturally have uh, higher power. Uh, we calculated that if we have uh, around 10 watt improvement, we can reduce the levelized cost energy around 0.5 to 0.7%. And another thing which is very important is spectralities. As we see that in Jollywood, we use the silver plates on the rear side for the, for the top cells. Of course, we sacrifice the cost, but we hope that offer more benefit to our customers. One thing is that by visualities, we, as we, everyone are quite familiar with is that uh, the modules will not only absorb the light on the front side to convert into the efficiency. Now we actually everyone knows that uh, the modules can also absorb the light from the back side. So if on the back side you have less shadings, which means that you have less uh, have higher beneficialities, then you can make better use of the scattered or reflected light on the rear side to have higher efficiency gains or more effective module outputs uh, of the modules. And we calculate that for every 10% by facility increase, you may have levelized cost of energy increase by 0.7 or to 1.1. Of course, this calculation uh, strongly depends on the scenarios of your modules was uh, in use Another thing which is good for untapped module, both for the top kind and the HVHID cells, is that they have a low temperature coefficients. Temperature coefficient is like uh, we are using our laptop. Actually, our laptop, our handphones, both share very similar technology compared to solar cells. Is that they use semiconductor, they use silicon with with uh, emitters and the N plus P plus. So for all this technology, for the silicon, they have a common uh, nature is that uh, when the working temperature is high or the surrounding temperature is high, the power decreases. Like our computer or cell phone, we are using it uh, in a very hot temperature. We see that the, their battery seems to run out very quickly and the computer seems to run much slower in a hotter environment. It's very similar to our modules. Our modules, the, the name play more uh, power, for example, I mentioned uh, like uh, 540 for PERC or 570 for Topcon. This is a name plate uh, power, which is a module used and tested under the room temperature conditions. But if you use, put these modules in a, in a hot environment, the higher the temperature it is, the lower the module uh, the actual, the lower the actual module powers, and the, the de decrease of the module power uh, uh, corresponding to the temperature increase, we call it the temperature coefficient, and this can cause about more than five percent power difference if you are working in very hot regions, and we calculate that for every uh, 0 0.05 percent per degree the temperature coefficient decrease, we can have a levelized cost of energy reduction by about 1%, which is uh, uh, quite a lot, especially in the Middle East regions. Another thing is that uh, low degradation, first thing as I mentioned that we don't have to use uh, any borrowing in our substrate, so we can have we can avoid any boron oxygen complex which happened in the boron in the in the in the uh, perk cells. 
And also we can guarantee a very low depredations for the first year and the annual depredations, which actually further reduce the levelized cost of energy by 2% to 3%. And if I put all the uh, advantages, which I mentioned uh, above, if we compare a 570 watt Jollywood Topcon 2.0 module with a P-type tier one perk modules, you can see that the customers using the uh, Topcon modules can have much lower uh, boss cost, much lower levelized cost of energy as have improved uh, uh, return of uh, interest. Of course, this calculations are based on uh, certain scenarios. You should calculate it based on your own uh, environment certain scenarios. And uh, here I want to mention something extra, some new results that actually we get. Uh, in Jollywood, actually, we have spent a lot of efforts not only trying to improve the efficiency of our top sales or reducing cost, we are also studying uh, extensively on the module reliabilities, especially the depredation. As I first I mentioned that because you know, for the uh, top count untyped material, there is no borrow oxygen defect. So that part of depredation is much lower. And recently we can also see some of the literature we mentioned here uh, for the LETID, which is um, a new type of uh, degradation was quite uh, obvious, uh, quite frequently mentioned or observed by our customer that this uh, with this uh, reduction, this uh, reduction of uh, power or the module performance actually is also much less for the untyped modules, especially top count cells, uh, especially when this uh, de this uh, degradation is a result from the hydrogen defect. And you can see that uh, on the graph on, the, on our uh, right side for the untimed material, the normalized lifetime actually decreased decrease quite small compared with P-perk cells. And mostly sometimes it lifetime actually improved with the light and the heat environment. So we did some internal tests uh, for the LID test or LETID test for different rounds. Uh, we see that for the Jollywood modules, actually most of the time we observe a negative degradation, which means that we observe a power gain with all this treatment for the LID, LETID test. This is our internal test for the past few years. And recently we have also sent our modules to the third party to Fraunhofer and they have done the LID test for our module. You can see from the result which we highlight in the yellow box. Actually, they also have show very similar result as our internal test compared with perk cell, which may maximum have about uh, up to 5% deviations for after LE, LID test for the Jollywood Topcom modules. Actually, most of the time we observe the maximum power point or efficiency actually increased. So which means that uh, overall, after you buy our the Jollywood Topcom modules, when you use in the in the in the field, you may expect the module decrease for for P-type modules, but you expect the power gain for N-type modules, and this difference can be up to more than five percent to six percent. So with all this uh, effort in, in our in our factories trying to improve the technology, we have also trying to. Uh, sell this technology over the world, over China, and that we believe that with our efforts, we have managed to convince more and more customers all over the world, all over the China, that Topcon technology uh, is a very comp competitive technology, can offer them a very uh, good gain uh, in the applications. And these are some uh, uh, plan power plants which use the Jollywood uh, untyped technologies. And these are the power plants which, uh, which have uh, overseas. And uh, in this slide, I want to specially mention that because of this high bifacialities for topcom modules, actually it's also very good use uh, in, a, in a region which slows is very frequently happened because with this bifacialities, when the conventional module are sleep, still sleeping under the uh, snowing conditions, the back side, the rear side of our module is already generation, generating electricity from reflected the night uh, from the snows. 
And the, with the electricity generating, the modules uh, warm up and also can melt the snows on the front side to make put the, the module back to work much faster compared with conventional cells or with cells with lower bifacialities. And I'm also very proud to show this road, this road map uh, uh, done by our sales or marketing teams, because with I believe that with our help, uh, with our hard working, we have trying to push um, or advise uh, uh, advertise our, our technology all over the world. You can see that in China, a lot of uh, top runner projects, which focus on the technology, uh, adopted adapted in, in using the top con technology. And uh, in, in in overseas, like um, Middle East, which is the environment, uh, is very very suitable for top con technology. And also in the Europe and. Uh, like Australia also have some projects using Jollywood N-type technology. And we have more than four gigawatt N-type volume shipment by end of last year. And we hope to work together with the industry to with our partner or our potential competitors to improve this, this um, technology further so that more and more and more customers, more and more, more PV communities can enjoying the benefit of untapped technologies. So that's all of my presentations and uh, that's all for today's uh, content for my presentation. Thank you very much. Gia, very nice presentation. Thanks a lot. Uh, very comprehensive overview. A uh, couple of questions directly from my side. You showed uh, this fantastic map with over four gigawatt of ship modules. I just spotted two plants. I didn't know. I found that interesting. Is this um, 458 megawatt system in Oman already built? Uh, I think so. At, at least the module are shipped yet, whether they are built or not, <laughs> to check with our sales team. <laughs> because that's, uh, that would be a huge plant. Okay, very interesting. I knew about the first one, the 125, but uh, the second one is uh, it's huge. Okay, very, very interesting. Okay, um, um, <clears throat> a couple of questions here. You, you said, um, and I think that was very nice, you, um, you pointed to, um, to your POP8 um, rep-free technology. Can you share actually um, um, if you're using um, PCVD for that or, or PVD or what kind of technology or is this secret? <laughs> uh, I think it's not really a secret in the community because many people has kind of figured it out from the source here and there. But um, uh, actually I'm well, I'm not in the position to, to review this information, you know, okay. uh, because uh, I think it's better to let uh, our equipment partner to, to take the chance to review in the future if they choose to make some presentations. Okay. Um, um, when you um, talk about your TopCon 2.0 technology, larger wafers. Will you use then 182 or will you use 210 for this? Uh, currently, uh, our plan is to have the equipment and the production lines which can compatible with both size. We believe that um, for the our Jollywood 2.0 processing flow, both uh, sides are compatible with our processing flows. Uh, but currently, uh, we are working more closely on the 182 size because our, our um, what do you say, most recent or the the nearest uh, uh, customers are requesting for 182 modules. But if in the future our customer requests for two and ten modules, we will we will switch the nine to make uh, two and ten uh, wafers. Okay, you, you have actually um, a very high bifaciality, which you pointed out. So, um, can can you can you talk about the thickness of the top corn layer, um, um, so um, so that you reach that um, high, high bifaciality, or because there, there must be some absorption in, in the poly layer, right? Um, yes, um, the bifaciality is actually dependent on several parameters in the cell design of, of, of uh, 
I'm not going to go to a very technical side. Basically, first of all, is the shading. It's very obvious. If you have a very big shading, like the conventional perk cells, no matter how thick the layer is, is as long as you block it with full area aluminum, then you cannot uh, have any bipegality. So the first point is the you have to control your uh, contact fractions, the metal shadings on the rear side. The secondly, of course, uh, after the light travels tr uh, through the regions without any metal, you have to make sure that they are not absorbed by the polylayers. The polylayer is actually uh, a very evil material so to absorb the light to force to to avoid to to not make it into the generation of electricities. So for for that, actually, Jollywood, we are always trying to push uh, thinner polylayers. Uh, I, I can see that it's around 100 nanometers, but I cannot give a, a actual numbers uh, thickness. But in Jollywood, uh, from our uh, knowledge, actually, we are always the one pushing thinner and thinner. Even sometimes we may uh, we may uh, have to take more time in the technology development, but. It's very important that we have a two gigawatt uh, production lines. If every ten nanometers decrease in the in the in the poly layers, not only increase the bipedalities, but also can increase our throughput and reduce our production cost. So we are more than uh, we spend more effort than other people trying to reduce poly layer thickness. But of course, you, it also depends on the rear morphologies. If the rear side use the texture surface, your bifaciality will be higher. If you use a very good polished surface, your bifaciality will be lower. And lastly, it depends on the rear side preservation qualities. Your preservation quality is good when the late, when the electricity is generated, then it has less chance to be recombined. If it's recombined, then you cannot connect it. And also, this depends on wafer qualities. Uh, if the wafer quality is also an issue because from the rear side, you have to travel all the way to the emitters. So basically, it's, on, it's a lot of factors which affect the bifidialities, not only the polylayer thickness. But in Jollywood, we are always the one pushing very, very thin polylayers. Okay, maybe one final question, uh, more more on strategy, because um, I find it interesting that you showed all these big power plants. Uh, um, um, Topcon is obviously a high efficiency technology, so um, you would rather think that uh, this uh, premium efficiency is uh, also very attractive for for the residential market. Um, so, uh, can can you explain why you focused first um, um, on on, on utility scale? Actually, I think uh, in Jolio internally, we do not really have a specific focus on whether it's a utility or it's a rooftop. If we can sell the modules, all our customers are the best customers. Uh, so, so in this case, uh, for the utility and of course for the rooftop customers, they have different requirements. For the utility customers, they care more about the power they care more about your price they care about your your, your temperature coefficient your efficiencies whichever is useful for their simulation of or the actual generation of the electricities on the rooftop customers uh, sometimes they not only focus on the these uh, parameters which you generate electricity they also trying to look at how good your module looks like like for Jollywood, we also have this product we call the Black Niva or something like that. It's all black modules, which looks um, completely black uh, from outside if you see the module. It's, compact, it's, it's very competitive for the application in the rooftop. And also you have a higher power gain. It's more like a superior uh, product, which is very popular in the uh, Europe or in Japan when they want to choose a product with higher power and also good looking. So I would say that we have a product or uh, our products actually uh, available for both customer for the rooftop and also for the utility skills. 
maybe one final final question. So I just uh, realized um, you, you are obviously also um, a world leading, Jollywood is a world leading um, manufacturer of in, in the encapsulation field, in the backsheet field. Um, so how, how, how does it actually, um, um, do your products benefit from that? How, how do we see that uh, they kind of um, are different um, from, from peers because you have this background, close background? In, in uh, yes, we have, uh, we actually, we have two subsidies, a subsidiary companies. One is uh, Jollywood Taijo, one is Jollywood Sujo, one is specified in uh, uh, solar cells and type one is back sheet. And we go with work together and uh, I would say that if one day uh, untype uh, our customers want a product which is untyped technology with a back sheet, we will be the best one to offer the best and the most reliable modules using the, the back sheet. We actually, we have already the technology available trying to offer to our customers. If they want to replace the rear glass with uh, the back sheet, we have to do uh, extensive studies on how to combine the benefit from the back sheet and with untapped technologies. Actually, back, back sheet is also a very, uh, uh, tech, good technology with a, a, a lot of advantages, especially last year when we have a, a spike in the in the in the glass price. Actually, the the back sheets actually offers a more economic approach to 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 make your modules, and the back sheets actually are more reliable than people actually expected. We, at least with our all the experiments we done with untapped technologies. Also importantly, we know that untapped technology actually. Uh, one of the advantages have lower temperature coefficient. And we have done quite some experiment to show that actually with the back sheet, we can further make this advantage even better. And for them, because some, sometimes we see the back sheet can even reduce uh, the, the temperature coefficient further. So we believe that if, if our customers are also interested in our end type uh, product with back sheet, we will be able to offer them the best one we can. Okay, wonderful, Gia. Um, thanks so much. Um, if anyone still has questions, um, Marco Engelmann from Jollywood is in the chat. So please um, feel free to ask questions or send emails. Thanks again, Gia, for that great presentation. Okay. Thank you,